Hello, hello, everybody. This is Milky. Welcome back to another Summer in Mario Let's Play. Milky has been super into this game, and I just want to explore more of this world. Today, we're going to finish tons of quests on the island and hopefully find out more about the lady that lives on the lighthouse. So let's get started. Wow, Milky was just wandering around the island before I go back, and I met this guy. And it seems like the game wanted me to talk to him, and he was like. Uh, Bram, and uh, he's like, "Hello, I'm Bram." And yeah, oh, he seems really nervous. I wonder what's happening. He kind of looks like Shrek, though. Oh, it seems like they're opening a new shop, and he gave me a quest to plant his seeds and give him a few corns when we are ready. Okay, wow. So like, we can get tons of quests from other island, and uh, we can go back to our island, planting seeds, doing farming, and help them. That's amazing. I love it. Well, now it's the night time, so I think Milky needs to go back. Also, another thing about this game is I found out that we can like get random trashes, trashes on the beach, and then we can throw in the trash can. And uh, if we do that enough, seems like we have a good relationship with the trash can, and maybe one day it will give me some reward. It's pretty funny. This is the first game I can build a relationship with the trash can. It's just nice. See, Milky just pick up some trash in the on the. On the beach, and then I I can recycle it. And look at that love that trash can gave me. Oh, wow! Look at the fountain up top. It's so cool. Oh, I just love every little details about this game. Okay, I think Milky got everything, and I'm getting ready to go back home. Bye bye, island. I love you, and I'll be back soon. Oh my god. The problem is Milky actually don't remember where's my home. Hopefully, I can find it. I wonder whether we can like crash into those ships. Okay, no,、nah. that's good. That's good. Good to know, cause it's dangerous. And then I think we just、uh, head south, and that should bring us to home. I really, really hope so, cause like, where is our island? Maybe it's that one. Our island is like a heart shape, actually. That is so cool. Homeland. Oh, I miss you, home island. This must be how Yaya felt when she was traveling around. Let's go back to our here and、uh, here we go. Can we jump out now? Leave the boat. <gasps> we did it! Oh my god, it's been so long, isn't it? Hello. Oh, I think、uh, Napo Boy is with us. Oh, she looks sad. Are you hungry? Oh, I guess I can make you some juice or something. It's really healthy. Oh, nice. Let me make her some blackberry juice. I guess we've been starving her for like at least a few days now. Poor Nana, Napopo. Oh gosh, I forgot her name. But、oh, look at that! Oh, our carrots is ready. Let's harvest some too, so I can make her the juice and the the seeds. Milky planted. I think they're ready. Look at that! They all grow into giant trees. My forest idea totally worked. I love that. This is this just feels so great. Now we can plant some of the rare seeds that was given by other, other people on the other island. I just wish we can have more farmland. Maybe if I break this, I need a better hammer. No, how about this place? Oh, I guess that's the maximum amount of I can have then. If I can't break any of that, that's okay. That's okay. Maybe we should get some corn then. We can harvest all the carrots and try to plant something else. Don't know when we can like start upgrading stuff. That would be great. I need some better hammer and a better hoe. Oh, seems like we have to stay on the island for a while because in order to finish our main quest, which is making some thread, we need to first grow some cotton. And、uh, unfortunately, we also need to starve for Napopo for a while because Milky found out that、uh, the Our island apparently ran out of blueberries. I don't know what's the regenerating pattern, but there is no blueberry on this island. Both Milky and Napopo is gonna starve now, so I think maybe it's time for us to catch some more fishes. Let's see if Milky can catch catch more fishes from the lake. Go fishing! I don't have any thread for fishing rod. Oh gosh, we're gonna starve on this island, aren't we? I guess for now I just have to leave off、uh, orange and、uh, orange juice, and I think I got some milk and candy from the island. A treat loved by kid, kids and the milk. 
Oh gosh, but at least we have a lot of carrots. I want to save the apple for feeding the doggy. Yes, even though we're really really sick and we don't have too much money, I still want to save some food so I can feed that doggy. And maybe one day I can bring the doggy back to the island. Please, please. I really hope the developer made that so like we can have some doggy on the island. I need it. No, Milky was just chugging around and I thought, oh, offering. How about I offer one apple? And he offered all my apples. That's my main source of food in order to make uh, orange juice. <laughs> oh, now we're gonna be starved. Gosh, what should we do now? <laughs> I hope we won't be starved to death in this game. Oh, today found Milky found out that we can actually plant the apple that we took from the other island too. That's great. Now we can have some apple trees. Oh, it's just so similar to Animal Crossing. It's like we can take other um, fruits from our other island and bring it back to our own, own island. I love it. So I decided to start an apple forest around here and then chop, chop down the trees around my house. So this will be my apple forest. Oh, and I'm exhausted. So I need to go back to sleep. I love how this uh, this game has no calendar. So you don't know what day or time is it. Um, at the first, I thought it was uh, kind of different from Harvest Moon. But what it helps is like making Milky feel relaxed and I just feel like it doesn't matter even if I didn't finish stuff this day because I can always do it next day and uh, there is no timeline saying you have to finish this by this date or things like that. We can just chill and do it our way. I love that. Wow, there we go. In order to keep our island balanced and have tons of fruits coming, Milky planted all the oranges that I don't eat. And I decided that this is our orange forest. And uh, oh, what happened? Did you guys see it? The orange disappeared. I think after they got hit or something, if uh, you don't get it after a while, they disappear. That's the first time I see an orange tree just uh, disappear in front of my eye. That is so weird. Well, um... So the reason I can't cut the, this orange tree is I want this place to be a pine tree forest. So it's mainly going to be tons of pine trees. And I'm just going to build different type of forest that, uh, and group them together. So it's easy for me to find resource. And I bet the island's going to look a lot better when I finish this. There we go. All the pine trees comes here. This is already feeling like a pine tree forest. Look at it. Wow, I love it. Okie dokie, wow, today Milky went up and it's rainy day, wow, it's the first rainy day Milky ever had in this island And the whole island just feels so different, let's climb on top of the roof and check out Oh, oh, oh Look at that, it looks so gloomy And I think we can finally have some water in the well, oh that's nice and our corn is all ready. That is so fast. I love that. We can go back to the place and uh, finish one of our requests. That's nice. I think one of my quests is going to get all ready. And uh, I can plant some cotton seeds. Because we will need a lot of that for making threads. And then more cotton seeds, please. Oh, this is so nice. I love it. I just wish we can have more farmland. We need it. And I have more blueberries. Nice, nice, nice. Today is a great day. I love rainy day. Wow, what is this? We get mushrooms on rainy days. That is so cute. <laughs> Let's see. Mushroom can be found among the weeds and used in cooking. Ooh, nice. Hopefully they're not poisonous. I don't, Yuki don't want to get poisonous on this island when we're all alone. But I love picking up mushrooms on a rainy day. Let's go around the island and try to find more mushrooms. This game. Oh, that must be a poisonous mushroom. It looks like it. Uh, I wonder what happened if we're getting on this island all alone and get poisoned. And I wonder if there's anybody that will actually move to the island later in the game with us that would be great living on this island all alone it is a little bit sad and uh, i think based on the game we could have some sheep pig and the kitchen later in game that would be amazing i need some animals to fill this island oh look at the trees milky put down yesterday now they're all baby orange trees that's just so cute i don't know why and the, the blueberry one i got they're already fully grown and here's the baby pine trees this game i just feel like it's so well done love it 
And finally, with enough uh, blueberries, I can finally make the blueberry juice and the uh, Fiona Popo. Oh, she must be starving. Oh, she looks happy now and really fresh, by the way. Yaya always made it for you. Do you have a Yaya? Oh, her family. Yeah, we still need to help her finding her family. One day she will find her family and uh, are they all gonna look this cute? I hope so. Wow, Miyuki just found out something really cool. Ever since we I feed her blueberry, I think she's kind of following us. <gasps> she totally is. That is so cute. Come, come. Will you come up? Oh, she'll stay around there. Okay. And Miyuki woke up. Our cotton is ready. Yay, we can finally make some thread and finish the quest. I think with the sunflower and our cotton ready, we're ready to go back to the island again. Aww. That's lovely. I, I actually really really want to visit the island and see more people on the other island. It's just so lonely in this island. I bet Korra feel the same. And then I think we need to plant another one. Maybe another sunflower. Sunflower looks beautiful though. I love that. I want to have a sunflower farm on my island. And we finally have water. Oh gosh, it's been so long. And I love the watering system in, system in this game. We don't need to like change it or do anything. Just need to stand there a little bit and here we go. Maybe we can even have like a more advanced watering system later in game. That would be amazing. And uh, I think that's it. That's all my apple trees. Oh, they're growing beautifully. I wish we can uh, slowly plant more things. I wonder can we plant anything else? So click plant. Oh, the only thing I can plant is a uh, blueberry. Oh, might as well. I think it's nice to plant some blueberry too. I decided to plant blueberries just around the road. So every single day when I visit, I can see all the blueberries on the road and collect them if they have it. And these are all the oranges happening. Oh, our island is really coming together. I'm gonna miss you, island. Hopefully you will grow nice and uh, changes a lot when I come back. Oops, Miyuki almost left the island without something really really important, the thread. So we can make two thread at most with all our cottons and that's enough for it actually. Okay, perfect. So we got a perfect amount of thread and we're just ready to go. So, Miyuki is jumping onto the ship and ready to explore the world. And I found out actually we can just click R to directly jump to there. That's amazing. And it doesn't cost any coin. I love that. <laughs> and we unlocked the achievement called Caleb Help. I love that. Amazing. So now we're just uh, out of the island. Oh, I just... I just don't know how to correctly get out of the island though. Because uh, each time when he was parked there... Oh, can I just directly catch the fish? Nope. Um, I have to swim a little bit before I land it on the island, but okay, at least we land safe on sound, and now I can finally give him my thread. Here it is, you're not going to find a better thread anywhere on this island. Oh, that's uh, talking big, Koa. You did well, child. Thank you, Noho. Oh my god, and Noho just said, wow, you did well, and your prize is, I will tell you that the lady you're trying to find is in the lighthouse. <gasps> We totally already know that, Noho. Ah, oh, gosh, that's horrible. And Caleb just says, take this for the inconvenience. Yeah, it's super inconvenience. Caleb, you're the best. Thank you, old man. Oh, don't call him old. Uh, Caleb is not old. He's an experienced quilto. Now what? You can ask the people in the city about the woman. Oh, fine. I can explore the city more. I love it anyways. Okay, I think that's it for our today's episode. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much and special thanks for my awesome Patreon donors. And I will see you guys next time.